In a way, South Sudan is really gifted with natural resources. And uh, one of those is uh, abundant uh, seasonal rains, which uh, very unfortunately cuts off half of the country from uh, the capital city. Uh, the implication of that is obviously you cannot access Upper Nile overland, say from June until about now, which is uh, December. We convinced ourselves that we did not necessarily have the skills and competences to open an airstrip, run an airstrip, uh, open up roads which require frequent uh, uh, maintenance. That's why we decided to outsource. We were in a very remote part of the country without uh, road infrastructure. We had to subcontract an organization with those strengths, with those uh, capabilities. We were asked to come and take a look and put forward a number of uh, suggest suggested solutions and uh, develop a plan that could be quickly implemented to uh, open the road network, which was uh, completely shut off at that stage. At the beginning, uh, this was solely focused on uh, road construction. And then over time, uh, it, it evolved into also uh, road maintenance of, of the networks that had been developed, but also airstrip, uh, support to the airstrip, airstrip maintenance, uh, fencing for securing the flights arriving to this, uh, to this location, as well as drilling of borehole, which was done directly with the Department of State, but still in strong support to the refugee response. When this borehole drilling campaign started, uh, we managed to, for the first time, uh, reach uh, minimum standards. So with this, the support in terms of heavy uh, infrastructure from PAE, and then of course NGO partners uh, in the running, uh, you know, establishing water network. The main point was uh, to, to give a minimum uh, clean water to the local communities. And the difference is that this solar is, is a long term and it, it needs less uh, maintenance cost. And with enough uh, sunlight around, uh, the local community can get water without any running cost. And uh, it is a long term. It was essential, again, in our context of uh, heavy rains and flooding at certain parts of the year, uh, to make sure that we also uh, have a camp, uh, have the necessary technical data to settle people in areas that are non floodable. In this particular situation, UNHR was forced to react fairly quickly because there was a, uh, an influx of many thousands of refugees at once into which is basically a marshland. And they needed to identify places that would be conducive to settle people, uh, which you, you can't know before the rainy season actually starts. Um, this led to us doing surveys in this area to identify places that would be more suitable uh, for people to settle and for hard structures to be allocated and services um, to essentially get them out of the water. So this site was laid out specifically with a, on a grid so that uh, again there's easy access to uh, services so that each family could have a physical address so as the the NGOs and the, the partners move through the people and and deal with things like illnesses that they could easily that they could identify where they needed to go to instead of having a mass of people uh, with no address that you cannot get to immediately or quickly if you needed to. It's not only uh, entering uh, one of the refugee camps, but it's also being able to outreach to the furthest community inside the camp. The main work we are doing with, uh, with PAE, you know, started from road construction. Uh, however, everybody in this county will, I'm sure, uh, also certify that the support was extended to a lot of other uh, components. PAE obviously has uh, functional logistics, uh, they operate uh, planes uh, to Apana, 
and we called on them because it was urgent. When the region destabilizes, it's very rapidly. So on, I think, 26th of December in the evening, decision was made by the, the humanitarian community here to reduce staffing to critical levels, so to, uh, to relocate uh, what we call the non-critical staff. They saved humanitarian lives, and for that, as UNHCR, we are uh, extremely grateful. PAE answered perfectly to the profile of an organization or company that we are looking for to do business on our behalf. Since that time, it has been a, a perfect, uh, productive partnership. PAE has uh, proved to be a uh, best friend of uh, refugees, uh, a good partner of uh, UNHCR. We have and we continue to do a very good job together.